All right, hi everybody. I'm going to be commentating the Game Show Island full walkthrough. I hope you enjoy it. I hope my audio commentary helps you. So you're going to want to start off by going left, climbing up this roof, and grabbing the toolbox. Once you've grabbed the toolbox, proceed left. And you can hop on down and grab a fan. So I got I got it in my first try, but don't be ashamed if it takes you a few tries because that was just lucky. It's really hard to pull off perfectly. But now you're gonna want to unscrew these bars, and then 
enter the door. until you reach a construction worker. Go up the stairs, continue right, and the construction worker should be waiting there just for you. Ask, can I help? And he will say that he needs some help with moving pedestals. So what you're gonna wanna do is, I have an actual pattern for this. So you're gonna to wanna to use the crane, these are the instructions. Use the crane to place each of four pieces of the second minaret on the fourth pedestal. You may only move one piece at a time. Each piece can be placed either on an empty pedestal, blah, 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 blah. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to move the top one to the third one. Move the, the second one to the fourth. The third, actually, the top one to the fourth. Then you're gonna to wanna to grab the third one and put it on the third platform, then the fourth one, or the top one. Just watch. All right, we're making progress here. As you can see, I'll list my pattern for this, um, this mini game in the description because I know a lot of people struggle and have trouble with it. But uh, we're almost done here. So once you get all of the pedestals on top of one another on the fourth platform, you'll be done this minigame and you'll be rewarded with a ticket to participate in the very first game show of this island. You can just copy what I do on screen, but uh, that's basically it. Put the top one onto the fourth platform and you're done. You did it, click to continue. You'll be rewarded with, of course, the ticket to participate on the very first game show that is entitled Scaredy Pants. So go into your inventory and click play game show under Scaredy Pants and the host will come and greet you. You'll have to participate into three challenges in this game show. So don't worry, they're pretty easy. The only one I really have trouble with is the pole vaulting, but uh, I'm just a horrible balancer. So the first one you're going to want to 
you have a timer of 60 seconds in order to get that object and bring it back to the surface. So as soon as you step off the platform, your time will start. Please avoid like these robotic objects in the water like robotic fish and robotic octopus because they can really throw you off and they might be the reason you lose. Like so, I'm right here. I keep getting zapped by these creatures. I still manage to pull it off and win, so it's really not that hard. You're really not in any rush because the other players are going through the same thing as you. So what you're going to want to do now is go up all the way after you grab the object. All right, so crawl up to the surface and then the first round of this game show will be complete. As you can see, I pulled off an easy win, even though I didn't do too well, so it's really not that stressing. Don't stress over it because it's really, really easy to win, and this is not even close to the hardest thing you'll be playing on this island. So continue. This one was kind of annoying, but really easy at the same time. All you've got to do is pick up either a snake, a spider, or a mouse and put them into their designated slots. I pulled this off in about a minute or so. I mean, it takes a while because you heat, your brain needs to act fast and look at which one you've picked up and put it into its appropriate slot. But uh, then you have to think that the computer players are also going through that algorithm. And so it was another easy win for me. So just watch as I do this right now. I'm going really fast. Putting all the snakes in there, putting all the mouse. Oh, and if you wait too long, some will actually evade the areas, so you can't let them do that. Alright, so I did it in 45 seconds, and now we're going to move on to pole vaulting. So I also picked up an easy win there with 12,000 points, and uh, one of the competitors still has zero points, so that guy isn't doing too well. So now we're going to move on to pole vaulting, and I cut some of it out because I kept falling and failing. But um, basically, it says I have, oh, yeah, see, look, I speed it up a bit because I keep failing. But I managed to do it when I have one try left. And this is where I managed to do it. So I slowed it down here. And just watch as I do this. I don't know why you'd be watching someone who just failed five times in a row. But still, I push a bit to the right as I'm going through one of these fans. But I don't push enough so that I will fall off. Just you know, the reasonable amount. I finally learned what the reasonable amount was after failing a couple of times. So here I am, hoping I don't fall again. And uh, yeah, there we go. Made it through those fans. Only a last set of fans, I think. And there we go. The platform to the end is right there and I can see it in the distance. And I just finished pole vaulting, which was the third round of this game show. So I just, I, I also, I actually um, lost pole vaulting, obviously. But Danny Dick Chinot, I don't know how you pronounce that. He still has zero points, so he didn't win any of them. He must have not even won on the pole vaulting. He must have just failed altogether. But I managed to win the, uh, actually he had 6,000 points. I managed to win the entire game, so now I'm going to leave this part of the island, call in my jet, and move on to City 2. Which is Miami. So let's head on over to Miami and play the next game show. So when you arrive in Miami, you will be greeted with the game show host, who is actually fighting with a robotic lady. You know, they're arguing. So the robotic lady decides that she's going to go throw the rewards for the game show out the window. The game show host needs your help in order to retrieve them safely so that the game show can move on. And it's pretty easy. You just got to make a path for the rewards all the way to the bottom using these slanted things. Like so. And the first one's really easy. Just boom, boom, boom. And... There's three rewards that you need to protect each and with each one it goes higher up. So the third one is the hardest, obviously, 
the second one is okay but the third one you've got to really concentrate on which path you're going to want it to go down so it doesn't break and or get um not fall into the the game show host's hands all right so here i go just slanting some of these things making a pathway for the purple reward and there we go now I'm going to go push it down by slanting the one that it's on and it should create a clear path for it all the way down. The game show host will retrieve it and you will have one more to go which is of course the golden green one and she's going to drop it from the top of the hotel, the seashell hotel. So what I did here was I was smart, I started slanting them as I went up so that I didn't have to do them going down again because that would just take longer. So. Here I go. And I just keep slanting them. Not much to voice over here. Making my way up the hotel. Okay, so here we go. I reached it. And now I'm going to slide it down the hotel. Hopefully my path was great enough for it. And it looks like it was. Oh, it... Did a bit of a drop there, but it was no problem, and the game show host retrieved it. So just copy my paths that I did there, and you should be absolutely fine. He's going to reward you with the ticket to play on Spin for Riches. I sped this game show up a lot, and for people with slow computers, this might really lag for you, because this game, it's really, really slow. Like, even from my computer, it lagged a bit. So I had to speed this up a bit because the game show lasts forever, but basically it's the Wheel of Fortune in Pop Tropica, and you either spin and get a letter, or you spin and get a question mark where you can choose your own letter. You spin, if you land on the red space, you lose a turn, and if you solve it, you just place letters where you think they should be, and you solve the entire word. So as you can see here, I'm speeding it up and the the words getting revealed in fast time and I eventually found out that the word was Phineas and solved it it's better to solve it than to continue spinning because when you solve it I believe you get a thousand points rather than the normal 100 so you really get a boost from the other competitors if you just keep spinning until the word is revealed you won't get as much as a bonus so if you think you know it solve it because that is the easiest way to win this game and I really recommend that you do that so uh, just speeding up round two a bit here all right so I eventually figured out that it was Virginians I think it was going so fast I couldn't even see but I made a big mistake here because I spelled Zach wrong and I put an H because I don't know I thought that's how Zach was spelt so then I solve it again and I put Zach with a K and I got a thousand points for solving it right away and I won this game show. So I slow it down here because it's the end. And the robot is all sad because his fellow companions didn't win and a human did, but whatever. He says congratulations and I win the game show. So I'm going to move on to the third city here by calling in my jet. Which can be done with the jet remote control located in your inventory. Go in and locate the third city on your radar which is Bunis Ores. I can't really pronounce that but go there and this will be probably the toughest game show you will play in the entire island. It's called Kerplunk and it's almost impossible. I mean I hate this game. Like I think Pop Tropica even had to make it easier because it was so hard. When I played this game for the first time back in October of 2011, there wasn't actually a shortcut. I don't think I'd have to watch one of my videos again, but I found out that there was a shortcut when I replayed it again. But that boots part at the beginning, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. But right here, I have to uh, solve this puzzle here with this big robotic creature. I just turn around these pipes until I get it right just watch as I do it here I didn't really know if there was a certain pattern to this I just kind of spun it and kept clicking random places and I eventually got lucky but uh, yeah I'm just all right so I'm almost there and then I did it in the wrong way 
So I got really pissed, but then I just clicked a random spot and it got it for me. So then the robot's going to um, give you a ticket for Kerplunk and you're going to participate. And I wouldn't be surprised if this takes you two hours to complete because I had to cut a lot of this out, a lot of my tries. I could not complete this. My life depended on it. This, this game show is so hard. Alright, so there's the host. Just skip the intro if you don't want to be listening to him for two hours. Oh, never mind. I guess I already clicked it. So those are the boots. These things are almost impossible. I mean, if you get up to the second platform there, then you're good. But if you don't, it is so hard to get past these things. It's, it's ludicrous. All right. So I eventually say, all right, I know the shortcut and I got past it really quickly. So that was the shortcut. If you make it to the second platform, you can easily just jump into the ocean and that'll be it for that. Before, I believe you had to complete the entire obstacle, which I don't know how anybody could pull that off. I mean, the boots are totally random. There's no pattern whatsoever to it. You've just got to be very, very lucky. So anyways, just proceed and go up the ladder where you'll find this cannon shooting out purple stuff. And you're going to want to jump across the platform here. I actually fell down and got zapped by that laser. So I got teleported into this machine and I'm going to have to try again. I really hate round one. The next two rounds are so much easier than round one, I have to tell you. Because round one is... It should have been the last round because round one is just... Oh my, I can't even begin to describe how hard it is. But basically what I'm trying to say is this is the hardest obstacle course you will encounter on this island. And once you finish it, it's pretty much a given from there. So here I am going to try for this again. Wait for the cannon to shoot so I have more time. I jump from platform to platform and I fall again. So I meant to cut this part out, but I thought I would show you how hard this part is. So if you really want to see me complete it, just skip ahead a few seconds as I try to go back up this ladder. But if you want to continue hearing me talk, just, you know, keep it on the, keep it on the current time. All right, so I grab hold of this. I jump onto this platform. I jump all the way across, hoping that I will get it this time, and I think I do. All right, so I climb up the ladder. I wait for this cannon to shoot, and I figured out it doesn't shoot unless I'm standing on the platform. So it shoots me onto the first one, and I'm like, okay. So I jump to the second. I wait for it to shoot again. It shoots me onto the third one, and then I just jump onto the platform. So I got really lucky there. That part is really hard. I just don't find it as hard as the boots. The boots are just really, really hard. So I won that one. I don't know why it places me in third, but my character smiled, so I assume I won. And now we're gonna move on to round two. Round two is not as hard at all, if not just easy. So I'm gonna skip the intro again by clicking that yellow subtitle down there he's gonna say let's play and I agree let's do it so you're gonna come across these spinning wheels these are very easy just jump across even if you go into the water you can still just jump onto the wheel again and go on now you're gonna want to bounce your character onto this big red button I couldn't figure that out at first because I thought you had to jump on this X I hadn't played this island in a while so I had no idea but you're supposed to put your character on
want to hop up onto the top of the building where the Brainiacs game show host will be and he will give you a ticket for Brainiacs that you can use to participate onto the show. To do that, go into your inventory and click play game show. Now this game show is not nearly as hard as Kerplunk. It just involves a bit of knowledge. I usually do the world of Pop Tropica since it is the easiest. You've just got to, you've just got to um, have knowledge on all the islands of Pop Tropica, which I do because I've done walkthroughs on every single one of them, so I probably know them backhearted. But nevertheless, I keep getting these correct. Always start off with the most, like always start off with the $500 question or the 500 credit question or whatever they are in this game because that way you get an easy head start on your opponents without the feeling that you might lose. So here I'm kind of struggling, but I picked Big Nate Island and I am correct once again. So I'm going to go to the World Pop Shop Cup for $200. Shark Tooth Island is this one, because a grass skirt will make you native on that island. I get it correct once again, and you must defeat Dr. Hare on this island, that's easy, 24 karat island. I have yet to do a full walkthrough on that island, I'll do that soon. Now the second one I always pick is homophones because I find these really easy as well. So 24 hour period, two, so days and days, that's correct, another homophones, and he got it before I did. And I got really pissed at that because I was clicking it and for some reason he got the the answer so I, I had no idea what this answer was so I just left it for the other competitors because I don't watch the Little Mermaid he got it wrong so he can't go again but then Mrs. Puff over here she gets it right so I got a bit pissed at that Popular trends. In the 1950s, many girls wore skirts stitched with this type of dog. Cool. And he got it right. He'll take popular trends again. I really hate this category. So I just kind of left it for them because I had no idea what the answer was. He got it wrong. I chose Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I somehow got it right. So that was cool. So once again, I choose homophones, a round object to cry loudly, ball, ball, obviously. I got that right. The game show ends after a few categories have been all selected. And then the game show host give you, gives you the final question for whatever you wager. So I really like that question because I always win. All right. So we're almost there. I think this is the last question until the final question is commenced. I'm not sure though. All right. I had no idea what this, the answer to this question was, but I got it right, so. Homophones is selected. The world of Pop Tropica is selected. Now I do, where did I see them? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, of course, and Pop Tropica, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory Island is actually coming out shortly, so. I'll be doing a full walkthrough on that with full audio commentary as well, if you guys like this. So now it's the final category, or the final question, rather. So I'm going to wager eh, about $500. And I'm going to select my answer. The question is, Sparta and Athens were city-states in this present-day nation. I go with Greece, because that's a pretty obvious answer. So, apparently when I choose my answer, everybody else is automatically finished. So I chose Greece. And then he asks how much I wagered. So I finished the game off with $3,600. And the other people wager like nothing. They wagered about $40 or something, $37. And I win the game. So that's cool. I'm a brainiac. I get $3,600 and a new photo added to my account. The reason I don't have the new interface here is because I have a template 
for my walkthroughs. So I'm calling in my jet with my jet remote control once again, and I'm going to head on over to the final city, which is Tokyo. And this one's pretty easy. The game show in this one is very, very, very straightforward. But we're first going to have to fix pipes in order to get a ticket to participate on to the Yoshi game show. So we're going to have to fix the service entrance. This is um, very, very, very easy to do. It was used in another island before, I can't remember, but this one's even more easy because you, you don't have to uncover anything or do any of that stuff. You just gotta twist pipes around until you get them right. So I really like this game because of its simpleness. So, um, yeah. Keep doing that, twisting pipes around until they connect all the way to the end, like so. I'm already on my third square here. So. And I'm like, how do I connect those two? And then I was like, oh yeah, there's a, a pipe right there. I don't know why I'm freezing so long. I think I was looking for where the actual um, stuff was coming from, but then I realized that they were way behind and I was way ahead, like the, the blue stuff coming through the pipes. So I'm here I am connecting the last few pipes before I win this game. And there we go. Now the blue stuff is going to come all the way around. I won. I fixed the service entrance. Now I'm going to be rewarded with a Yoshi Game Show ticket, which is called Yoshi's Super Terrific Challenge. You must amuse Yoshi or you get kicked off. That is Yoshi right there. And I think it's a robotic person. Well, it obviously is because this whole island is based on robots, but I don't even think it's like a working robot. I think it's just a machine that just sits there like Holmes. You'll see more of Holmes in the end of the island. But anyways, go into your inventory, click play game show under your Yoshi Super Terrific Challenge ticket, and you'll be greeted with the actual host of the game show. You'll be dressed in a baby costume. Don't worry, you'll be changed back into your normal outfit after the game show. It's just a part of the game show in general because Yoshi likes to humiliate people. All right, we're getting our introduction. Let us start. Yes, let's do it. So the first game, you're gonna have to build blocks that spell Yoshi. Now, some of the letters are hidden, so you're gonna have to turn the blocks and like twist them until you find an S, like so. So I'm looking for an S here, and I find it. So, but I need an H. So I know where the S is, now I'm looking for the H, and I accidentally put the Y up there, and I do it again. And there's the H, so I find the H, and I know where the S is, so I'm just gonna twist this block again, put the S up, now I did an O, and now I'm gonna try to find my Y. I still got about a minute left, so I'm way ahead of the game here, and I complete it. So obviously Yoshi's gonna be amused at this. There's no doubt about it. I'm amused, okay. The second challenge is tough if you cannot click very fast because, well, your chicken outfit kinda gives it away, but what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to click a chicken egg very, very, very fast at like light speed until it breaks and you have a time limit to do it. I do not like this. I am clicking as fast as I can right now. You can't hear it because the microphone doesn't pick it up. But I'm clicking very, very, very fast. And you only have 30 more seconds to do it. So if you're a very slow clicker, you might not get this done on the first try. It's just like that challenge in Wimpy Wonderland where you're talking with that guy in the Leisure Towers. But uh, yeah, I break it with 17 seconds to spare. And I was very, very happy about that. So obviously Yoshi's gonna be amused once again. And now you're off to your third challenge, which is actually I found the most fun out of the, the three. Because in this challenge, you are a bowling ball and you must smack all of the bowling pins before the time runs out. I found it very, very fun and entertaining. But uh, here I go. So that's one of the bowling pins that are eliminated. 
It's like a game of tag, except they're not humans. They're bowling pins. All right, so here I go. Every time you see a boom, you should be very, very happy. I know in like almost any other event in Pop Tropica, if you get whacked, it's not good. But in this game, it is good. So be happy about it. So here I am whacking a bunch of bowling pins with 59 seconds to go. And... Yeah. Not much to commentate here. I'm just breaking bowling pins. So... I think that's like the second last one and it's really irritating me so then there's one left and I have 30 seconds left so I'm very 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 anxious to get it I'm getting very very pissed now but I finally got it and it's gonna load Yoshi and obviously since I completed it in the designated time frame he'll be amused Like so. Alright, so we're done all of the game shows at this point. As soon as he's done doing his little celebration thing. Alright, so you can exit the building and call in your jet. It's using the jet remote control. Alright. Now click Main Street. Now we're approaching the end of the island here. So, there's Holmes, a big computer. I didn't watch the keynote, so I didn't know what Holmes looked like before this. So Holmes is a big computer that talks, and he's looking for your character, so you have to sneak around him and go down into the sewer where the inventor is trying to call you. So just hop onto the buildings and try not to get caught, and then head down into the sewer where you're supposed to go. The inventor will then tell you that Holmes has created a security system that he cannot bypass through. So your character is going to give it a try. And he's going to give you a memory stick so that when you get past all of the security, you will then place the memory card into the computer and it'll turn Holmes to a good, good robot again. All right, so this is the thumb drive. Now we're gonna proceed. And I sped a lot of this up because I hate games like this, but basically, as you can see, it's sped up. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put all of the pieces together like a puzzle until they all connect thoroughly throughout the entire thing, like I'm doing here. As you can see, I'm making some progress, but I really hate games like this, and it takes me a while to figure out even though I've played the island before. So I'm just trying to get it done and over with. And there we go. So once you get them all connected in the right fashion, it'll flash up. Then this robot policeman will try and come and try to get you with his laser eyes, but it doesn't do much. Because that thing is blocking it. So you proceed left and you go down, or actually you click this security system and I sped it up again because like I said, I suck at these kind of games. So I really didn't want to have you watch two hours as I did it. It wasn't actually two hours, but it was a long time and this video would be a very, very long video if I didn't speed this part up. But you guys get the general idea on what you're supposed to do. You're just supposed to connect the pieces uh, until it flashes. Now there is a strategy to this. At the end of every piece, there's a color code. And if you connect all the color codes together correctly, then you've got it. It doesn't even matter what the pieces look like. If you can connect like say the blue with the blue, like the blue end with another blue end, you've got it right. So I've got it to flash there. Now Holmes has turned green. He's gonna try to persuade you after every single security system you breach but just ignore him and proceed on to the third one. I sped it up again, but that doesn't mean you can't do it yourself because they're all the same thing, except they just get harder, like with more puzzle pieces each time. So I'm trying to get through it here, and I actually did almost get through it in like a very, very fast time. But um, the piece that I needed was missing, but I finally did do it. So now Holmes is trying to 
make a proposal, blah, 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 blah. Just ignore him and proceed on to the next one. I believe this might be the last one. If not, there's only one left after this, and then you'll reach his computer. So just connect all the puzzle pieces once again. So I got it, I go down again, and there is the computer powering homes. So just ignore what he's saying, go up to him and go into your inventory and click use under your thumb drive. Upgrade homes, so to speak, and he will turn into a good robot, so that's good. And after that, you've pretty much completed the island because now the inventor is going to go to the path that you've just cleared for him using the your brain as a weapon to <laughs> breach his security, breach Holmes' security. But uh, yeah, here comes the inventor with your medallion for the island. The reward is the medallion. So there's your medallion. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you like the audio commentary, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And comment below if you really liked it, because I think I'm going to continue audio commentaries on Pop Tropica Islands if it's really, really popular amongst you guys. If you prefer the music, that's okay. But I find that audio commentary kind of gives you an oral guide on how to do it so that you don't have to keep switching back and forth between tabs you can just listen to my voice and that'll help you through but if it doesn't uh and if you prefer music just leave me a comment but i'd really really appreciate it if you like this video because this video took a lot of work and a lot a lot of cutting and editing and all that to make it perfect so i'll see you guys tomorrow for another video of course and have a good day